And we're back with Final Fantasy X-2. We're here on the Meehan High Road. Hopefully with a camera that wants to work this time. And, um... We've done some grinding. And now let's see what's inside the travel agency. Looks like... Looks like nothing special is in here. Hmm. Yeah, nothing special. Okay, let's just keep going. Remember, we're doing this just to keep on fighting and leveling up so that other areas aren't as arduous. Today, uh, today's grinding session should be a little quicker than before, if, unless I want to go down to the old road. Yeah, my camera is just being finicky. So bear that in mind if it starts just jittering all over the place. I'm trying to get it right, but it's being weird. It's been a couple of weeks, and it doesn't like me today. I'm also trying to get back to the swing of things. After taking a couple of weeks, I've changed my recording schedule, so... Maybe it just doesn't like the way my apartment looks right now, which is weird because that's how it always looks. And this is how they always look. Let's see. Potion. I also know that I'm going to be off on vacation in a couple of weeks, only for a few days, but I'm probably going to uh, keep the recordings going as they all as they have been. Oh, there's a treasure. Yay! Because all I have to really do is bring a, um, like a capture card thing, a uh, uh, flash drive thing, and then upload from my parents' house instead of my own. So, it's only for a few days, so it shouldn't really affect anything. By then, we'll have Final Fantasy X-2 started. At the time of recording, I'm sure we have. Because we only have, like, ten episodes left to upload. So yeah, we should definitely be able to get into Final Fantasy X-2 territory by then. Which is why I need to get these done! I like having at least like three weeks in the can. Also, don't... Um if you're fretting about getting stuff in the game and you miss something, don't worry, you can always go back and get no it. Problem. As long as you don't go through the story bits first, it won't be a problem. And there's really no story in the Me and High Road, so it's not like the worst thing. I don't think I'm going to go down the low road yet. I think I'll save that for later. Oh boy, white magic level 3. Yay! 
Look at me level. Okay, so now I can level up any magic I want. Cura sounds really nice. Because I haven't had to, to use anything except prayer. Which I'm good with. Alright. As a refresher, uh, the Albet have taken over the Meehan High Road and replaced the, all the Chukabos with machines. So you can get quick access. Let's go to the Mushroom Rock Road now. So we've been everywhere where there weren't enemies. Now Mushroom Rock Road is interesting because this is where the Youth League headquarters is now located. And oh, ah, look. it's those creeps again. Hmm, maybe there's a sphere here. Hmm. It's our turn to do. All right. Good to see you again, Lady Yuna. You haven't forgotten me, have you? Oh, you're that idiot. Yaibo, isn't it? You're in the Youth League. Ha! You really do remember me. I am truly honored, Lady Yuna. You should be, because you're a that dork. Since day we first spoke, the Youth League has been conducting a spear hunt of its own. We, the Youth League? Hmm. <clears throat> Clasco, take it from here. We, the Youth League, to better our understanding of Spira's past, vow to remain vigilant in our search <clears throat> for ruins and spheres. Oh, that's enough! Those two guys are getting away! Did LeBlanc's men pass through here? Yes, they said they're here to take care of our fiend problem. You see, the Youth League is in preparation for an important operation, leaving our patrols shorthanded. As a result, the road to headquarters has been overrun with fiends. Be warned, unless you can defeat the fiends on the road, you will not be able to pass. So, are you ready to run the gauntlet? Understood. Expect to encounter fiends until you reach the vicinity of the lift. Fight your way through them and proceed to headquarters. That's it. Good luck. Clasco? Uh, Clasco, show them the way. Uh, uh, of course. This way, please. Yeah, Clasco yeah, don't look like he's doing... Fiend. Yeah, Clasco don't look happy. You seem down. Well, a lot has happened since you brought us the calm. I ended up following Captain Lucille. When she joined the Youth League, so did I. But I'm still stuck playing tour guide. Ugh. You know... All I want is to ride on a chocobo faster than the wind. Yeah. Well, good luck with that, buddy. And recall, I'm not following a guide because that would just drive me nuts. Whatever enemies, like, whatever percentage I get is what I get, and I will try to focus on getting the good ending, not the great ending. So, fiends will show up when the fog is like that. Great for wrecking my eyes. Thank you, game. So you just kind of play red light, green light. And you also got to follow Logos and Ormi as well. Fire, no. I want 
to kill one of them? There. Thank you. That was annoying. Oops. So wait. Bonk. Dead. Okay, it's around here somewhere. Yeah, go. Well, at least there's a save point. Oh boy. At least there's a save point. God damn it. Ah, uh, yeah, so this is a uh, secret area. I don't think I've ever actually done this, because I've never bothered to find every single sphere. You need ten of them. Huh? Hey, long time no see. Remember me? Oh, it's Maroda. Hello. Glad to hear it. How have you been? I joined up with the Youth League, and that's been keeping me pretty busy. Oh, I'm a sphere hunter now. Ah, that sounds great. Trying out a new way of life. Actually, Pase's a sphere hunter now, too. He's the leader of the Kindergartians. Be nice to him if you see him. How's Isaru? Mm. The Youth League discovered this place, you know. It's called the Den of Woe. It was sealed around the time of Operation Meehan. And Isaru? He doesn't want to talk about it. But, uh, the seal can supposedly be broken with the right combination of spheres. Um... I'm afraid this place is off-limits until we can conduct a more thorough investigation. So, I'll, um, have to ask you to leave. I'm sorry. Hmm. 
Hmm. All right. Well, he doesn't want to talk about Isaru. Just leave it. It's not hard. Yuna's usually not the prying type. I didn't expect Yuna to be so nosy. If he doesn't want to say it, he doesn't want to say it. Kind of glad I didn't have to fight those dorks. And climb and climb and climb. And now we're back to the original Final Fantasy X2 spot. Or 10 spot. Ah! Again, you gotta watch out for those uh, coyotes, those dingoes, those wolf characters. They sometimes they have the killer fang move, and if they start using it, it sucks. It's pretty much an insta death. You don't know when they're gonna do it. You don't know which ones can do it. They just do it, and it sucks. So you gotta watch out for them. I think my camera's cooling down a little bit. Yeah. I think the frustrating thing is I'm not in an area where it's going to look good regardless. And I paid so much money for that damn thing. It's like 800 bucks. And it's still, I mean, it's decent, but it's not, it's not without its problems. Eh. Speaking of problems, I almost ran into that one. Ah! Still got to fight the girls. Give me a break. <laughs> Give me a break. Break me off a piece of that kid, Cat Bar. Look, that's where that joke was going. Look, I can do brand stuff. I like Kit Kats. I remember, uh. Oh, I learned Cure. Awesome. I remember, funny aside, going to a convention once, and they were selling Kit Kats, but they were selling. <coughs> green tea flavor and again that doesn't sound too crazy it's actually a really decent and pleasant tasting flavor as you'd imagine um, but the craziest one the one that I've never tried yet is sake yes they decided to make a sake flavored Kit Kat bar in Japan just cuz I guess and apparently there's a video of a guy and another female YouTuber testing out like every Kit Kat in Japan. There's like 30 varieties. In my part of America, there's only like five or ten. If that. There's like some of those duos, those like chocolate mint ones and chocolate coffee ones and there's some white. It's more like five, to be honest. Uh, 30 Kit Kat flavors. That sounds amazing. It also sounds like a harrowing experience if you want to do it all at once. She learned mental break. Okay, so she's learned armor break, or magic break. She's learned power break. Ah, she's learned all the break skills. Uh, there's delay attack. Uh, let's do those. So Clasco wants to ride like the wind. Okay. Well, stop being stuck behind a desk job. Just say you want to quit. Problem is, he's probably making money, and he doesn't know how to just say I quit. Oh, man. 
Yeah, more of them. Sucks. Learn you gotta learn to say no sometimes. For your own sanity, too. Nobody's gonna say you're worthless if you just say, hey, I gotta take a day off or I gotta take a break. Let me have a break. It was, let's face it, with my schedule, I haven't had a day off in a week. I needed it. I needed a day like this where I'm just playing this and enjoying myself. Gotcha. Learning to say no is just that as important as learning is say, saying yes. As long as you're, um, well, competent enough that you can say, hey, I know my limits and I know what I can do. If you know your own value and know that they know your own value, there you go. Clasco does not know his own value. He's still trying to find it, which is his own fault, I guess. Hooray! We're done with that crap. Now we can do the Youth League Headquarters thing. Oh, hey, looky. Oh, wow, Lady Yuna. I remember it's me, you. Elma. It's been so long. Wow, you've really changed. How are you? Never better. You now sound that I'm like in the Youth League, I've always got something to do. Hey, you made it past all the fiends. Nice work. Go on, step aside. Right, right away, Captain. Captain. Oh, wait, they've got the... It's the other hey. side. Wow, look at you. <laughs> Not bad, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did the thing. And I got a glass buckle for my trouble. And the... And a garment grid, I guess. I got a garment grid. Look at that. Heart of Flame. Let's see, we've got Vanguard, we've got Magic Defense, and Grip Fire. Well, Fire Eater's nice, if you know against certain guys. So, Elma just be kind of running around and having fun. Let's see if there's a... Doesn't look like there's an item over here. Ah, ah there it is. It was hidden by the camera! Favorite outfit. What are these things? Oh. Itchy. Uh, I forget what Itchy does. It's nothing that I'm really concerned with. Poison Sleep is nice. I'm thinking it'll it'll lower my MP, but that might actually be a good look at that. Health and sanity preserver. So she guards against sleep, poison, and confusion and berserk. Pretty much anything that's really gonna be a problem for a mage, aside from silence, which she's got the prey mechanic, it's nice. Huh? This is Youth League Headquarters. The Youth League was formed a year ago by people who opposed New Yevon. Its members claim that in the hands of New Yevon, Spira would only repeat its past mistakes. Their leader is a former crusader named Nuge. Apparently he earned quite a reputation among the crusaders. They got kids learning to use swords. Hopefully they aren't real. Oh, they aren't. They can't be real. There's no way. But we made it to Youth League Headquarters. Uh, if you board the airship, you're probably fucked and have to do this all over again. Boo! So you got some owl bed. Got some other people. Ah, there, there she is. It's been too long, Lady Yuna. I am Lucille, commander of the Youth League forces. It's good to see you. Hiya! 
I am glad to find you well. As you can see, I have joined the Youth League to aid in the fight for a new Spira. I consider it my duty. Maven Nuge, our leader, has been hoping for an audience with my lady for some time. Unfortunately, he is planning a mission of great import and will be occupied well into the night. I am terribly sorry, but I must ask that you return another day. Oh, it's no trouble. My apologies. The Youth League's looking for spheres too, right? Yes, knowledge of the past is the key to the future, so says the Maven. It is with these words in mind that we seek the spheres of yore. The mission we are planning also revolves around a sphere, but... I am sorry, I had best say no more. It is not a matter to be discussed openly. No, I suppose not. My apologies. Hmm. Okay. Oh! Okay. So you do need to talk to him, though. So he's actually very important. So that'll be the last of this episode. We'll be talking to him. Why, Lady Yuna, I believe it's been fully two years. This calls for a celebration. Perhaps you'd like to hear a story. Now, I don't know why they did it this way, because I actually like this guy a lot, but they give you the option to just n not, like, ignore him, because he talks for a very, very, very long time. These past two years have been truly tumultuous. This is like an in-joke or something. Sin defeated, and Yevon's terrible deception exposed for all to see. It is safe to say Spira was in a state of upheaval. But it is precisely times such as these that often inspire the greatest good. For you see, out of the chaos arose a desire to forge Spira anew. And from this noble desire was born a search for truth, championed by people called the Seekers. The Seekers sought out and attempted to set right Spira's history, long concealed and warped by the temple. They looked for lessons in that history, lessons to lead Spira into a new age. <sighs> the Seekers scoured Spira for ancient spheres hidden in nooks and crannies over the ages. They studied the images recorded in those spheres, for they hoped to find within clues to the true nature of Spira's past. Over time, the search for spheres grew quite popular. Some even pursued it as a profession. They, of course, are the sphere hunters. The good, the bad, and the ugly. To be sure, the majority are interested only in the excitement and adventure of it all. But it is doubtful they comprehend the gravity of their search for truth. Very doubtful. Um, doubtful? Doubtful indeed. <laughs> Where was I? The founder of the Seekers was a man by the name of Tremor. Before the fall of Sin, Tremor had been a priest in the orders of Yevon. With the Seekers, he had the perfect means of revitalizing Spira. Or so one would have thought. But then... Just one short year ago, Tremor founded yet another organization, the New Yevon Party. It was all quite sudden. He took the many spheres collected by the Seekers and hoarded them all to himself. Hmm. Naturally, this angered those who had hoped to use the spheres as a key to unlock Spira's past. What awoke in Tremor's heart that drove him to do this, none can say, save Tremor himself. I should very much like to ask him. But sadly, he has vanished. New Yevon would not release its spheres. Yet, surprisingly, a great number of people rallied to its cause. Their motto was, one thing at a time. It worked to great effect. 
played on people's fears of the rapid changes sweeping over Spira. It gave them something to cling to. But there were others who still harbored ill will toward the name of Yevon. And the man who united them? It was none other than Yuge, the maven, that is, leader of the Youth League. Nuj was a member of the Crusaders. He is a powerful man, once renowned for his fearlessness in battle. His interest in history led him to devote himself to the Seeker's cause. With them, he worked to collect spheres, but in the end, New Yevon would share them with no one. Repulsed by what New Yevon had done, Nuj gathered like-minded people and formed the Youth League. Drawing its support, mainly from Spira's younger generation, the League soon matched New Yevon in size. As the organization grew, so did the responsibilities of its leader. I came here hoping to speak with Maven Nuj, but he is busy in meetings, and I was turned away at the door. Hmm. Pity. <laughs> Pity. Looking at all the young people gathered here to take part in the League's endeavors, I must say, I'm quite envious. So much energy, so much time. While I, on the other hand, have grown weary with the passing of many years. I travel spear, gathering knowledge, only to have it slip my mind a moment later. Just between you and me, I don't even remember how old I am. Oh, might I ask you one small favor? What is it? I'd like to shake your hand. If it's not too much trouble. To touch just once the hand that defeated sin and saved all spirit. Oh, thank you. Now this old scholar can go in peace. Don't say that. Your hand. Hmm? Is something wrong? No, no, it is nothing. Lady Yuna, you have my thanks. Hmm. All right. I like that guy. They they overdo it with the length, but that ba basically retold the story of what you needed to know about the new Yevon and Youth League bullshit. So it's very important stuff to listen to. Anyway, let me save it, and we will go on to our next bit of business next time. Thanks, guys.